Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today's card is an Easter card with the cute little bunny. I'm using the Easter bunny punch. Remember this bunny punch here that's in the annual catalog? And it came with this great stamp set here that cuts out this bunny, but also these cute little bunnies here. I love this little carrot here. And so we're gonna use this stamp set, but we're gonna use the dies that are on page 27 of our mini catalog, the January through April 2024 mini catalog. Now I do not have my dies with me because a friend needed two sets of dies for a class, so I lent them to her. So I'm going to show you when you open this card why it is just so fun. Not only do we have these great die cuts of the bunnies here in this lighter than air DSP, when you open it up, happy Easter. I look at those, look at those. Oh, those six Easter eggs in there. Are those cute or what? With all the pretty colors coming from it. So I'm gonna show you how I made that. I looked at the colors that were in my DSP. I have like some glue on here. There we go. You know, this is the adhesive remover there. If you wait till your adhesive is dry, whether it is goopy glue or tape runner comes off immediately, but if it's glue, let it let the glue dry and then just go over it with that adhesive eraser. So lighter than air DSP and then I used this little bunny. I loved the Azure Afternoon and it was in this piece of the DSP. So I put this piece here to cover up where these two meet. So I'm gonna show you how I put this cutie together. Now I see balmy blue in there. So I used a balmy blue card base and that was eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter to make a landscape card. Now for this mechan mechanism that's gonna open up in here, you are going to be using a piece of five and a half by four, okay? But I just thought, why don't we go ahead and do the front of the card before we put that mechanism in because then we won't have any lumps and bump. So what I did on the front of the card, and I have to tell you guys, I was using up all of my scraps. I had a lot of scraps left over from my March Busy Bee Bag. I mean, my February Busy Bee Bag that we used this fun paper. Wasn't it this one? Was February? Yes. And so I was using up some scraps I had. Now I'm gonna bring out my scotch tape just to tape together these here. Now I wanna make sure I'm gonna see some of the Azure Afternoon, and I think I see a little bit, no, I think I see more this way. So we're just gonna flip this over. My stripe was two inches. And there's, it's six inches, and then we're gonna cut it down. So we're just gonna tape it together. Okay, there we go. And then we are going to put this little strip of is your afternoon okay and it's actually five and a half uh, five and a quarter to go across the card we you know what let's go ahead and cut this first let me bring my little trimmer here and no it my little trimmer does not go to so I'm gonna cut this down to five and a quarter so five and a quarter look at these fun Easter Easter eggs here Okay, we'll have you take a little look there. And we're gonna cut this down to five and a quarter. A little snip there. A little snip on this side. There we go. And then we're just going to put a piece that's going to go right up here and it's just gonna cover up that line. So we're just gonna use some glue for that. And I'm gonna put the glue right on my Azure afternoon and then I'll just snip it off, trim it off. You know, you know, I've been using this glue all day and now it decides to go crazy on me. Okay, I'm gonna put it up above the paper. It's kind of covering up that paper there but I'm just gonna put it right kind of at the top of the paper because I really want to make sure I see 
my little blue dots there, the azure afternoon. And then azure, azure, then we're just gonna snip off this right there. Okay, now we can put that on the top of the card now that we've got our blue behaving for us. Here we go. And then we're just gonna put that right at the top and put an one eighth inch border, the top and the both sides. There we go. That's giving us a little bit of just the plain cardstock at the bottom to put our happy on. So now, the next thing I did was put two of the eggs and I just cut those eggs out. I cut out the little zigzag rickrack that went with it and I'm gonna put that there. And then Mr. Bunny that I just, oh, I loved him in the blue. So he's gonna go over here. So we're gonna put something here and I decided to go a little punny on this. Instead of writing happy, I'm gonna say hoppy. Okay, so I cut out my letters. Now I used the letters in the the mini alphabet dies, I wanna tell you, these are really cool. Awesome, because you could just do a whole alphabet at one time and you could keep the little baggies and just put your little extra pieces in, have them labeled with the different colors. But even past that wonderful point, I do like that they're all attached. So the playful alphabet and the little letters that we had before, which I use all the time to this day, they're all individual letters and they're all, I have to look for them. They, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them. These are all onto one die. So what I can do when I want a certain amount of letters, like when I wanted the, I just did the O. I just put a piece right on top of that area and then I put my plate on top so I can see it run through and I have it upside down. So I have it flat with the cutting side up and then put, say I need a W, I'll put a piece right over the W, put my clear acrylic plate and run it through. And then that way I'm not, lose, I'm not having too many letters at one time. And also I just love that I'm not losing the little dies. So this is gonna be what we're gonna put on the front of the card. We're gonna put Hoppy. So I decided the best way to do that, grabbing, my silicone mat would be to put the Y first and kind of work from the right to left. So let's just put that P there, the H, the O, the P, and the P. Okay, so now let's get a little glue on each of these letters. And then I like to grab my tweezers to put these on. It's a little easier. So I'm gonna turn it this way so I can just kind of see how straight I am. And I'm gonna put the Y first, then I'm gonna put my P. Sometimes, now on this card I kind of wanted it to be straight, but sometimes I will purposely make them slant, like um, not straight because I'm trying to make it straight. And when I'm trying to make it straight, it normally won't go straight. But these letters for some reason really work nice. And then I put the O there. And the H. So we've got Hoppy, okie doke. And then we can just fix our focal point with the with our Easter eggs. And we can just put that on with some glue. Ah, well, you know, I was wondering why everything is sticking to my desk today and my fingers. <laughs> so we've got, I think we're going to put our... Fresh Freesia, and we're gonna put the yellow. 
make sure I'm on camera here for you guys. Put the yellow down here. And then I'm gonna put dimensionals on Mr. Bunny. And I am to the point, oh, I did find one with some dimensionals left on it. I'm to the point where I have like 12 pieces of just the edges, which is great because you can use those. Uh, they're not throwaways. <laughs> We're gonna just put a few dimensionals on Mr. Bunny and take those off. And then put, the only thing missing from Mr. Bunny is he should have a cotton tail. And I do have some little cotton, tiny, tiny little cotton balls that used to be for chalk, but I do not know exactly where they are right now. So there's the front of our card. That is so fun with the hoppy on there. So now let me show you how we do that inside. As I said, you're, we already cut this to four inches by five and a half because we want it to be the same width as, as our card because we need all the real estate on this, this little pop-up we can with the six different eggs. We're gonna score it every inch. So put it into your score, go one, two inches, three inches. So one inch, two inch, three inch gives you four. And then we're just gonna fold it on the score lines. And one of them gets on the top of the scoring line that's on the, the front, okay? Think of it that way. This is where you could use some tear and tape, which I, or your stamp and seal plus, which I should have done, but I have my glue out, so I'm just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna put that right up above the score line, right, right about the score line, because I don't want it, I want it to be able to close, and I want to make sure that it's flush on each side. There we go. Now, this is now going to become a column, kind of like a column that sits in here. So what you can do is just fold this down so that you have two sections showing. So the bottom section's adhered, this section is not glued, this one's not glued, this one's not glued until now. Now we're gonna glue this one. So if you think of it this way, you're gluing the back of this one and the back of this one. Okay, once again, we're gonna take a look at that before we close it shut. Okay, now think of it this way, this is your column. And if you were making your column here, you have glue here, no glue, no glue, you have glue here. And the easy way to put that together is just to close it and then put your card down onto it. And now it's gonna be adhered to the top of the card, the inside top and the inside bottom. So now there, is your little pop up there. Okay, so there is what's gonna pop up on your card when you close it, okay? And the bottom part here, before we put our letters on, I just used a piece of four inch by two and seven eighths. Two and seven eighths fits in there nicely. There we go. Actually, I think I cut it a little bit too. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fudge it a little bit here. Depending on how it is, um, I could have, I think I cut it off a little bit too short. So I would say the measurement, sorry about this, I did measure this before I went um, made this card here. It was, It was two and seven eighths. Okay, I haven't measured the same way, but it might be just um, the way I put it into the card. So just kind of uh, anywhere from two and seven eighths to three would be your measurement there. A little bit of glue there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fake everybody out and I'm gonna eyeball it so that I have the same amount at 
on the two sides and at the top. So right there, this and these two sides are the same, but I can fudge down here. So this strip is three quarters. by five and a quarter. And I'm just gonna fake them out a little bit and just look down and get that border. A little fudge in there, nobody will know. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna work with our fun little Easter eggs. Now what I did, since my friend was gonna be using these and I thought I was gonna get to this before um, she got them back. So I just went lickety split and I just I die cut every, I picked the colors that are all in the paper and I hurry, hurried up and die cut them. As you can see, the pieces fall out, okay? So this, all these pieces fall out. So the way I found it most easy, now this is another hack I did here. Um, I put a piece of tape across the back of, on the back. And then that way, when I turned it over, it was sticky here, sticky here, sticky here, and then I popped in the other colors, okay? Then you can just come back with your scissors and just cut off. I found it easier to pull back my tape a little bit because that way I wasn't cutting into the egg. And then you just have a little bit here, get that cut off, a little bit here, there you go. Now. The reason why I have this one, I just found an oval. This was actually an old oval punch, but anything, it could be a circle, but you want a little stability to this Easter egg because it gets a little flimsy once you tape it together. I mean, not once you tape it together, but once you have the die cut there. And then we are going to lay them in, we're gonna adhere them to this little step here that we have. We're gonna put the letters on last but let's just take a look at how this one looks because you had to fit six in there. It was a little tricky. So let's start with this little guy here. And I think I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. Okay. And I tried to put it the whole way. I just saw a little piece of tape here. That happened when I was making this there. Okay, Oop. now I'm sticking to my Easter eggs. Okay, so I stuck that one kind of on an angle right there. And then I had to put the next one. I just picked another color, tried to mix it up a little bit here. And I kind of turned it that way, remembering that I have to fit six eggs in there. Put a yellow one in here, the lemon lolly. Okay, and now I know I'm getting to about halfway, so that's good. And then I'm going to do this. And I'm kind of keeping my adhesive at the bottom part of my egg because you don't want it at the top because you've got kind of want to have these a little bit Great, one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's do this one. And like I said, I just mixed and matched all the pieces that fell out. And I know I have to get one more egg in there. And I'm gonna fit it. I was playing around with this and I had kept putting five eggs in and I'm like, oh, they fit so perfectly. And then I realized, no, the word Easter has has six letters in it. Okay, so once you get your eggs in there, and if you want to, you could lift them up a little bit. I just kept them like flush with the bottom of that step, but really what makes the fun part in the inside is whenever you put the words Easter in there. So we have our mat again. I guess you could say that this is one of those stamp sets that you do not, do not need the stamp set necessarily. You could get E-A-S, I was gonna say please, Stampin' Jesus, 
you're the reason that we have Easter because you rose from that grave. Ah, oh, amen. Okay. Um, I was hoping I didn't lose that T. <laughs> okay. So let's just go and get glue on each of these letters. Yes, I like the funness of little Easter eggs, but it's really about the cross. It's not really about the Easter eggs and the bunnies. It's about Jesus and what he did for us. And so we are going to put our letters on here now. E. A, S, T. I see a little adhesive on there. I'm going to have to get off it there. E and R. R for risen. He has risen indeed. And we're just going to come back with that adhesive remover. And I'm going to get that little piece off of this dropping things on the floor. Okay, we're going to have to just do that on here because get that little piece. There we go. And now, Easter, there you go, Easter. So, Hoppy Easter. And I'm gonna put these scissors away. Okay, so here we go. We have a fun card using the Excellent Eggs Bundle dies, but not the actual stamp set but the dies here on page 27. So the Excellent Eggs dies we used here with the Easter Bunny Punch, the, the Bunny Punch and the Easter Bunny stamp set. Isn't that adorable? I was thinking too of putting Enjoy All the Little Moments in here. I may do that, but I kind of just like the how your eye goes to the pretty colors in the white and it goes straight down to the stripes on the paper. So I don't know if I'll put that in there or not. Maybe I'll put it in one and you guys can see what it looks like. So make sure you hop over to my blog. Underneath the YouTube description, it says visit my blog here. You just hit that link, it takes you over there. You'll find additional photos, the measurements. You'll also find the measurements and links to my online store and all the products I used underneath the YouTube description. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a text or a call at 724-323-2296. You can always email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. Thanks for buzzing by, friends.